guys, this is Monster Review, and this is what you've been waiting for a long time now. Sony PSP2 has been revealed. Uh, Sony has announced its next version of the PSP this week, but there will be a long wait for it to hit the shops. It's a beauty with a 5-inch OLED, the best hand handheld screen on the market. Some are predicting uh, we won't have it in time for Christmas. Let's just hope they are wrong because it promises to offer the best mobile service service for serious gamers putting PS3 quality in your pocket. You'll be able to load games from new data cards with built-in social gaming and download them via Wi-Fi and 3G via your existing PSP account. You could, you'll also be able to access PlayStation Suite which is a new feature which um, will deliver classic PSP One games. Sony are, uh, Sony are rolling out this service for Android users too, meaning any handset or tablet maker can build a mobile PlayStation gamer. The first of these phones will come from Sony Ericsson based on the Arc ARC, which will hit the shops on April the 1st. Nokia hinted the week this week that they will be looking to adopt other software platforms on their phones too. Uh, uh, Sony will know more after the big mobile conference announced in Barcelona next month. Okay, so the specification on this PSP. Okay, so this the specification are pretty tasty. Um, the PSP's replacement has a five-inch, sixteen million color, nine sixty by five forty-four OLED touchscreen, twin cameras, twin speakers, and a microphone. There's also twin analog 6 and ridiculously powerful quad core processor based on the ARM Cortex A9. Expect 4 to 5 hours from the battery, which is freaking amazing. Okay, uh, it's got twin sticks, which is really good. The biggest criticism of the original PSP was that uh, it had no second stick. So, why is the second stick so important? It allows you to move your character with one stick while holding and while looking with the other. Which is great, I like it with the PS3 as well. Um, the PSP2 specs include a touch sensitive back, which is very new to Sony's creation of this PSP. Uh, the rumor factory gone this, got this one right here, yeah, and the includes a touch sensitive back so you can control the on screen action without hiding it behind your fingers. The screen's multi-touch uh, multi too, so the combination of the touchy front and the back is fascinating. Sony talks more about it in enabling to touch, grab, trace, push and pull hand movements. The PSP2 um, also includes a powerful RVR graphics card. Uh, the NGP doesn't just have the nifty quad-core processor, it's um, got the whole quad uh, Quad core imagination technologies power VR graphics processor too. But yeah, the PSP2 specifications include GP, uh, GPS, which is very new to this uh, new to this product and um, should work out to be really good. New feature. Um, Sony promises that PSP2's built built-in GPS uh, will mean some interesting location aware games. Uh, via the PlayStation Network and an application called Near, it will let you know if your friends are, you've guessed it, near you. <laughs> the PSP2 also includes a three-axis gyroscope, three-axis, three-axis accelerometer, and three-axis electro electronic compass for handheld waggling motion. Okay, so let's go on to the design. PSP2 design looks a bit like the PSP or PSP Go. Sony calls the PSP2's shape super oval design, which is one in the eye for anyone who expecting mere ordinary oval design. It looks quite like a PSP, we think. It will be 30mm longer than the PSP3000 at 182mm in length, which is pretty thick. Okay. And the great thing is that really sucked on the PSP Go, which uh, which is that the PSP2 games won't be downloadable only, which is great. So you can actually buy the disc. Which so this it will be very similar to the PlayStation 3, as you will be able to get trophies, and uh, from the PlayStation Network will also appear. So you can score points wherever you play, even at your Android mobile.
Uh, finally, the last feature, the PSP2 will have a 3G connection and Wi-Fi. The NGP has all the connectivity options you can ask for. 802.11 BGN Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 2.1 plus EDR and 3G. That's always a connectivity means it's ideal for social games. Okay, the PSP2 U UK release date will be 2011. Sony's a bit vague on this one. NGP will arrive at the end of 2011. It says in time for a lot of Christmas stocking. Hopefully we should be able to get our hands on it soon. So um, stay tuned. And that's about it. So um, thanks for watching. And uh, leave your comments and views of the PSP2. And uh, tell us what you think in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. This is Monster Review. <laughs>